Good morning. Welcome back into Wake Up America. The New York Times just out with an article alleging that New York City's private Orthodox Jewish schools are depriving students of basic education while accepting a billion dollars in public money. So what's going on here? For more, let's welcome in Managing Director of Coalition for Jewish Values, Rabbi Yakov Menken. Uh, Rabbi, great to have you back on. Um, tell us about what is going on here. Good morning. Uh, the woke New York Times is out with another classic attack on religious values and religious education, this time targeting the Jewish community for doing Jewish education the way we have always done. And there's a huge variety in the Jewish community with regards to how much time is spent on secular studies and how much time is spent on religious studies. But those religious studies give children backgrounds in economics and law and damages, which you simply don't find in other school systems. So the idea that these kids are not getting educated, that the people of the book are not actually interested in educating their kids is extremely offensive. And for the long hand of government to come in and claim that it knows better than parents how to educate their children not only in public schools, but in private schools, yeah. shows what's really going on here. It, it does, and I'm not pro New York Times. Uh, the news that is fit to print, I, I think, is sort of laughable. This does seem like a targeted investigation, but the article alleges that while collecting more than a billion dollars in taxpayer money over the last four years, um, the schools are doing little by way of basic English, math, science, and history. Should, at the very least, should there be a, a non-political review? I don't think that there's any review that comes from outside the community that's going to be especially helpful here, because, again, these are people who are experts in education, who demanded full literacy from their society when most other societies re reserved education for the elite class. Uh, we are very much interested and invested. You see parents learning together with their children as a standard part of community behavior, which even to this day is not is not typical. You help a kid with their homework when they need help with their homework. Right. Uh, I certainly, you know, growing up outside this community, did not experience the kind of learning that I did with my own kids as they were growing up. And that happens all across our community. Now, when you look at that billion dollars, what they're really saying is that taking these kids out of the public school system, which in New York City is investing approximately $28,000 per child per year in education, which is a ridiculous sum of money and yeah. obviously wasteful and not working. So you're not it for any, any that review? That just we're, because we're talking about saving 50, we're saving no, uh, Rabbi, billions I, I, upon hundreds yes. of billions of dollars, a, you know. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm millions, with you. It just seems like, so I, let me tell you what the mayor says about this right now. Uh, the mayor uh, apparently read the article. Uh, he was quick to comment. He said, quote, I'm not concerned about the findings of the article. I'm not going to look at a story. I want a thorough investigation. I want an independent review. And that's what the city has to do. So it sounds like the mayor may take action and move forward with a review. Um, I, are you saying that these schools uh, are giving um, students the proper education uh, when it comes to, to, to basic things, again, like English, math, uh, science, and history? Those are the four that are cited in the New York Times article. Well, I'm not going to claim that in science or history, these guys are learning nearly as much as, for example, I did growing up. Sure. What about uh, English and history math? History that we learn is very different, obviously, but it goes all the way back. I mean, we have touch with thousands of years of history yep. to talk about in our own way. Okay. Rabbi Menken, um, we appreciate you coming on with us. Uh, we will keep a close eye on this story. We'll see if the mayor moves forward with a review. Going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Rabbi Yakov Menken, always a pleasure having you on. Hey guys, it's Rob Carson. September is historically the worst performing month for the stock market, so you better be ready for it. The Fed continues to aggressively raise rates, and J.P. Morgan is forecasting another mega rate hike September the 21st. Is that why Jamie Dimon said an economic hurricane is coming our way? Well, gold and silver have remained remarkably stable despite the Fed aggressively raising rates today. The Patriot Gold Group has a special incentive for Newsmax viewers. Huge! Now precious metals investors can enjoy 
the No Fee for Life Gold and Silver IRA on qualifying rollovers or enjoy free, discreet, insured shipping on all direct gold and silver purchases. Here's the number, 800-356-4470. Call 800-356-4470 today. 